When it comes to running a business online, being an affiliate marketer, what we're often sold the perception of is that we think that we need to be this super marketer that has a lot of money, that has this very fancy lifestyle, that has this big following. And we think that we need to have that image up front in order to be successful. Otherwise, if we don't have such an image, we think people are not going to listen to us. They're not going to take us seriously, and they're not going to tune into the content that we have to offer. We think that being a marketer is like being a Hollywood celebrity. We think that we need to constantly show them, hey, look at my bank account. Look at all this money that I have. We look at this lifestyle that I'm living. Look at all these expensive trips I get to take. Look at these office meetings I'm having every single day and collaborating on some great business ideas. Look at my perfect lifestyle in which nothing goes wrong. Can you res resonate with what I'm saying here? So case in point, I'll share a story with you. Back in the very beginning, when I first got started with affiliate marketing back in 2016, I was a college dropout. I had decided to do this internet marketing business to become an online entrepreneur, which I really liked the idea. But to start things off, I didn't have that much capital to invest, nor the skill sets up front. The only kind of business experience that I've ever had in my life were just two things, selling my stuff online, like places like eBay and also on Facebook, and as well as some yearbook marketing experience, which was way back from middle school. And that was the only marketing business kind of experience that I had, but nothing in the arena of affiliate marketing. And when I logged into the back office of my very first affiliate marketing business opportunity, I got overwhelmed by all the information. Yeah, it was broken down into day-by-day -day steps, but when I looked at everything that was in that back office, and when I saw that I needed to attend the live event uh, calls that were going on every Monday, it, it got me overwhelmed because I was entering into unfamiliar territory. I thought I had to be this super marketer learning all these different skill sets up front in order to start being successful, in order to start producing those results, and in order to create a big following. I thought I needed all of that. And I got intimidated because I just didn't really have that much confidence in me to be a marketer because I thought it was like being a Hollywood celebrity. We think that being a marketer is this glamorous image that is all glory all the time. But the truth of the matter is, it's not. There are going to be some things in your business, whether you're already making six figures or you're just getting started, there are going to be times in your business when things don't work. And that's okay. And when I realized this along my own journey, and mind you, I'll go back to my story in which there was one night where I was on a live event call and my sponsors, Ace and Rich, were talking. And then out of the blue, by surprise, they brought me out to go speak in front of a call that involved about 20 people that were listening live in that moment. And I was pretty nervous because it caught me off guard. And I thought, oh, man, I didn't know they were going to bring me out. <laughs> and th the truth of the matter is, I wasn't making sales that time. I had yet to do that. I was just getting started building my way up to success. And then even though I was put on the spot and I was not really sure what to talk about, when they asked me certain questions, I just simply spoke from the heart. And what ended up happening that night was I actually inspired a few people. I inspired a few people who have never seen me at all. 
they don't even know that I wasn't generating results at that time. And I went ahead and I inspired people on there that got moved by my story, that got moved by my drive, my ambition, my inspiration. And so after that call, Ace and Rich admitted that they goofed up that night, but they were telling me you were meant to be on that call. And Mark, skills can be developed and will help you get results in your business. You know, just, just keep at it, keep staying focused and invest into those skills and master them. And that's exactly what I did. But the main point that I want to bring home to you from this story is back then when I was just getting started and I didn't have much credibility like I do now, it didn't need it to be perfect up front. I wasn't telling people that time that I was living in a glamorous house. I wasn't showing people my bank account like, hey, look, I just made X amount of money in my bank account. And all I just simply did was I became my imperfect self. I just simply told my story that related to business. And so this whole perception of thinking that we need to start building a business like flashing that of a Hollywood celebrity, it's not true. And what we need to do instead of propping up a fake lifestyle is we just simply need to tell our story imperfectly and just have that conversation with people because at the end of the day people are not buying business opportunities they're not buying company offers they're buying you what do you have to offer that makes you stick out from the rest of thousands of affiliates promoting the same thing that you are what makes you stand out and this is where you got to be working on personal branding you got to uh, put out content out there that not only tells your story, but it also gives people value in them, that they resonate with you on a deeper level. Because see, most marketers out there, they won't go above and beyond and really connect with those people that they're attracting to on a deeper level. Because they'll just simply flash their income screenshots. They'll just keep saying, oh, yeah, this is how you're going to be able to make money. And what you see a lot of those marketers doing is they're hard teaching. And you don't want to hard teach. You want to always lead with value. That's the most important thing. you got to realize that if you're somebody watching this right now, and you're just getting started with your affiliate marketing business, whatever that might be, just know that you don't have to know everything up front. You can be completely green like I was and just build your way up. You don't need to have everything up front. That's the great thing about this industry. You don't have to know everything up front. You can build your way up, develop your skills, and as you're taking action, you can test, track, and tweak, and then you'll start seeing those results coming in if you be consistent with it long enough. So just remember, work on personal branding. Brand yourself, not the company offer. Tell your story imperfectly. Give people value from the content that you share out there and watch the results flying in.